you're struggling to lose weight or if your HbA1c is getting higher and you're worried about prediabetes or type 2 diabetes, you need to see this message. I just got this from a TikTok follower who I've never met in my life. Hey Trent, I uh, told you I'd give you an update when I had one, so I have one. I'm in the park a lot of my endocrinologist just got out of my uh, appointment. I see him twice a year. I saw him back in March. I was 290 pounds and my A1C was 6.2. Been creeping up every year uh, and I was getting dangerously close to where I didn't want to be. So when I saw your stuff on the uh, intermittent fasting, I said, that sounds like the kind of thing I need to do. Started that in August. You and I talked a few times about it. And um, actually, I took your approach. I said, I didn't want to change what I ate. I just wanted to eat twice a day so that I didn't have um, the spikes and stuff. And I followed your protocol. I just got out and my uh, lost 23 pounds since uh, August, and uh, my A1C is now 5.5. And my endocrinologist was quite impressed with that. He says I very rarely see people uh, improve or do that much improvement in such a short period of time. Um, I started off with the fiber stuff. I was trying um, Benafiber, which my uh, urologist told me to use. I didn't really like that. It wasn't working the way I wanted it. And then I tried uh, Metamucil and. So I switched over. I think you and I talked. I switched over to the to the Unicity, and uh, I, it's working. So I, I've been doing that for the last two months, and I'm going to continue with that. I'm not going to change anything. Happy with what I got. No reason to change it. And I'm glad I ran by your um, your TikTok, and I hope that uh, everyone's getting the same results. I am so sincerely happy for you. I know there's a lot of people that want to lose weight, but I'm so happy to hear that your HbA1c is improving. Credit to you for following the protocol and for being brave to listen to some random guy on TikTok. I sincerely want to thank you for sharing this message with me and for giving me permission to share it with others as it may help somebody who's kind of on the fence and doesn't know what to do.